Developing right now in Washington, a short time ago, President Trump delivered a speech at the White House in hopes of restarting the efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare. And he didn't mince words about who he says is at fault. For Democrats, this vote is a chance to make up for the terrible harm they have inflicted on Americans like those who are with us today. Also today, President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor answered questions about the Russia investigation behind closed doors before giving a statement to reporters. Blaine Alexander is following that part of the story for us from Washington. Blaine? Well, Kimberly, a very busy day at the White House today. President Trump trying to urge action on health care, while Jared Kushner trying to once again squash the Russia investigation that has been plaguing the White House for months. Today in Washington, rare public remarks from Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law and senior advisor, with a short but firm statement to reporters. Let me be very clear. I did not collude with Russia, nor do I know of anyone else in the campaign who did so. Kushner spent the morning on Capitol Hill behind closed doors answering questions about the Russia investigation from Senate Intelligence Committee staffers, including questions over a campaign season meeting he attended with Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian attorney, among others. Donald Trump had a better message and ran a smarter campaign, and that is why he won. Suggesting otherwise ridicules those who voted for him. The nearly two-hour session was private, and Kushner was not under oath. And at least one member of the Senate Intelligence Committee says any unclassified parts of that testimony should be made public. The more things that aren't brought into the light of day makes people, you know, paranoid and skeptical about this. Meanwhile, with Senate Republicans scrambling to reach an agreement on health care, President Trump is piling on the pressure. Tweeting this morning, Republicans have a last chance to do the right thing on repeal and replace after years of talking and campaigning on it. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has promised a vote this week to at least begin discussing the health care bill. Oh, and back to Jared Kushner. Tomorrow he will repeat the process, but this time in front of House Intelligence Committee staffers and this time under oath. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4. Okay, Blaine and Donald Trump Jr. and President Trump's one-time campaign manager Paul Manafort will be answering questions about the Russia investigation from the Senate Judiciary Committee. That will happen on Wednesday. Initial reports said the men would testify before the committee, but over the weekend, lawmakers agreed that neither will be under oath when they speak, nor would the hearing be public.